New this morning with Valentine's Day approaching, we're introducing you to a brand new segment called Love in a Pandemic. So let's hand things off to Vahid Sadrazade with this story. Vahid, what do you got for us here this morning? Well, swiping right or this way is becoming familiar with a lot of folks from real life COVID-19. Real talk, roundtable discussions. It's clear that modern romance has taken on a new form during quarantine. Don't worry about it. We're just having coffee. We'll be antisocial. Be friends? Yeah. Potential. Oh, love and dating. It's definitely changed during the pandemic. It's evolved, and we've evolved along with it. Blind dates have morphed into Covidio parties. First dates over pasta and pizza are now enjoyed with a glass or two of vino virtually. We met uh, online and uh, that was probably middle of July. Hannah and Trent found love smack dab in the middle of the COVID lockdown last year on the popular dating app, Bumble. Sent her a gif waving <laughs> and then she's a nurse. So I asked her if she was staying Rona free, <laughs> which she always gives me crap for. She thinks it was about the corniest pickup line, but I think it works, so it's all right. The couple learning to do a delicate dance around COVID restrictions, all while finding fun, creative ways to strengthen their budding romance. Did you guys ever think that you were going to find the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with during a global pandemic? I mean, was that ever a thought? No, especially no. not online. Yeah. In a recent survey done by Match.com, before COVID-19, only 6% of singles were using video chatting to court. And now an astonishing 69% are open to video chatting with the potential partner. I think it's become the norm. And so the, the difference was when everything first hit, people weren't online dating as much because where would they go? Rita Mitchiff and Kathy James are therapists right here in Michiana. Things have started opening up again. Do you think we're going to stay with this safe option? Or do you think people would start going back out again and experiencing, you know, our parents' way of dating? I think most people are missing the social aspect. Being out with people, there are some exceptions, but I think for the most part, people are missing people talking, just being close, seeing people's body language, actually being able to physically touch each other. People are missing that. Whatever works for you is what you think is great and what you're gonna continue to do. So while chivalry hasn't officially died. And it's not because I'm lonely, and it's not because it's New Year's Eve. I came here tonight because when you realize you wanna spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. It's clear that the good old days of dating, with the help of a global pandemic, has taken on a new form. I did not want to be online, but my friends were like, oh, you should just try it. I'm like, I'm not going to find anybody online. They all suck, but I found him, so. I, I suck a little <laughs> less, I guess. He doesn't suck that much. Right. <laughs> and maybe finding love will just be a bit easier if it's already in the palm of our hands. I just got online like for <laughs> and giggles. Like I wasn't really looking for anybody. Um, <laughs> and then I actually recognized him on his picture from when we were little. We were at like a party with mutual friends. So I remembered him. That's the only reason I swiped right. The emails, the pouring of emails into our newsroom over the last couple of weeks of people getting married during the pandemic, of finding new love just like that couple during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's pretty incredible. And, and I, I have to ask you, because you're, we are rookies. I've never done online dating. Same. Uh -huh. But you swiped right and found the love of your life. Yeah, that's funny. I was almost kind of the same bucket as her, and I was like, Ugh, I'm not going to do <laughs> online dating. That's, like, ridiculous. I want to meet how my parents met because they have, like, the best story ever. But, yeah, my husband and I, Tyler, we met on Tinder, believe it or not. And, I mean, we've been married for over three years now. So, and also with a baby and a dog. So, I mean, it worked out quite well. And never did I think that would be the way I'd meet my husband. But, nonetheless, it was a fun story to tell. I think that so many more you know people are doing that i think mm -hmm. we're gonna have a lot more people hopefully like you and your husband who yeah. you know met online and now 
have a whole family together. Yeah. I mean, because honestly, without it, I don't know if I would have met him just because mm -hmm. I was living in northern Michigan at the time. I was just back home visiting family. So there's no way we would have run into each other because most of the time I wasn't here. But we're very happy it worked out that way. Well, we are too. We've seen yes. so many heartbreaking stories during COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And to see some love and some positivity yeah. coming out of this, I think it's fantastic for everybody. Well, you don't want to miss our entire discussion with Rita and Kathy, who were the therapists we sat down with. Uh, more of your questions answered, plus the do's and don'ts of online dating. That's next week right here on ABC 57 News at 630.